Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to build a map in Mindustry using the editor. First of all we'll go into the editor, click new map. I'm going to name mine example one. There we go. Click OK. Okay, now we're into the interface for building a map. So first of all you want to go and click resize and I want to change mine up a size to 300 by 300. There we go. If it wasn't clear, click the free bars up here to access the menu of all the different features you can do. Okay, now I'm going to build my own terrain in this. So I'm going to click the draw icon and let's see which wall do I want to use. I'll use here, here's a grey one, I'll use these rocks, actually no, I'll change to the dune rocks, I think they look better. So I'm going to draw a quick outline, what I want the map to look like, I'm going to click the magnifying glass to zoom in, make sure it's joined, okay that'll do well, now I'm going to hit the fill, and fill the outside with rocks. There we go, so we have a big shape like this. That is fantastic. Next we'll click free bars, go to generate and I'm going to add the noise filter. This will keep the terrain different so it will look absolutely amazing. Okay, so I want my secondary floor to be made out of this blue stuff here. I believe it's called shale and I think I'll just keep the wall the same for now. So you can change the size of it by adjusting the scale, as you can see. I want it kind of equal to somewhere in the middle. Threshold, I believe that's fine. Octaves, that'll change how jagged or smooth it is. Uh, I'll have it, or at least, and I'll keep it all in the middle. And then fall off, it'll change how smooth and how rough it is. I'll put the fall off, fall off up a wee bit. And apply, there we go. Looking great so far. Next thing, we're going to draw some more. Whoops. Go draw some more shapes. Uh, here, I'm going to draw a big wall. There we go. And then click fill. If you ever make a mistake, you can just hit the undo button like this. The redo button. There we go. Next thing, let's see, uh, I'll add another rock up here, there we go, and fill it in, fill bucket will just uh, change a whole section if you need, like for example this blue bit, I could fill it with grass if I wanted, but I'm not going to do that because it doesn't fit the aesthetic of this level I want to create. Um, Next thing, I'm going to add a couple of details, such as, let's see, I'll do some jaggy out rocks, like so, there, and there, oh, need to make sure that's full, perfect, and I'll put one more down here. I'm happy enough with this, you can add more detail if you like, well I'll maybe add a wee bit more around here just for something interesting, and that's not too bad. Now I'm going to place my core, uh, let's see, I'll go for a nucleus, the biggest core, and I'll plop it down there. Uh, as you can see I'm currently on the yellow team, you can tell by there's a wee small yellow band there. And if I change team colour, uh, the band will change. Uh, there's a red core. See, can you see it there? So I don't want a red core because I'm just having myself in this map. And um, next thing, I'm actually going to hit the generate button again. And this time, I'm going to add default ores and apply. This will spawn in randomly generated ores throughout the map which can be very useful or you can add your custom ones 
if you, you'll find over in this sidebar on the right. Although I find it a lot easier just to use the default ones. Let's see. I'm gonna get rid of that code there. Get it wrong. Oops. Just to draw, to draw over it. Perfect. Now to help me start out, I'm gonna add a little bit of copper here and here. And I'll get back to that later. Okay, this isn't that exciting at the minute. So over in this spot, let's see. Uh, I'll use the dropper tool to select the shield, perfect. And I'm gonna just increase the brush size to draw over the lead to get rid of it. That's fantastic. Now I'm going to add a bit of a lake. So let's see, some sand, perfect. Zoom out. And a big outline like that. And remember to draw around even where you can't see. So when you hit the fill, it goes like that. Otherwise, you'll fill in this entire blue area and you do not want that. Next thing, I'm gonna add some sandy water. Draw an outline. And behind, perfect. And I'll add a little bit of water here. There we go, and fill. Now that adds a bit more colour and excitement to this otherwise quite dull map. Let's see what else we can add. Over here I'm going to add some igno rock. Draw an outline like this and fill. And then I'll draw a wee bit of um, the hot magma rocks in the middle. And fill that in and add a little bit more detail with the strong ones. If you didn't know this can be used on, for thermal generators generators to make electricity. It's a great uh, way to generate lots of electricity in the game, so it'll really help out whoever's playing your map. Or maybe it's just you. Anyway, what else would I like to add? I'll add an icy area over in this zone. Again, I'm going to draw a big outline. And fill. Now I'm not a fan of having those ores there, so can I just draw over them? Yes, I can. With the ice, I could increase the burst size to make it a bit easier, but this will do perfectly well. And I'm gonna add a little bit of detail with the ice snow. Let's see, I'll try the sprayer, increase the burst size, and spray a little bit on. There we go, that's not too bad. That's something else quite useful. And if you wish, you can add, take time to um, add we decorative places, like here's some metal floor. And let's see, I'll just let a few bits for it to make it look all run down. And if you add a couple of large scrap walls around it, and even scrap walls, it makes it look like it's been run down. And you can add some scrap around it. It doesn't normally spawn in the default ores, so this can be a good way to get scrap. The scrap can be used for numerous different things. Okay, I'm happy now with this. So I'm going to add an, a wave spawn point. This is where the enemies will spawn in for you to defend against. So, oh, maybe it's up at the top. Oh, there it is. This S is for the enemy spawn point, so you can place it anywhere you want. I'm going to put one here in the map. Perfect. This is looking alright. Now, I'm going to go to edit in game. So I become my wee drone. And I can fly down to my core. It's, you can build uh, buildings in the other editor part, but this is just far easier. I'll place some drills. And conveyors to help for a beginning. This isn't the actual game started yet, but I can just add some fun infrastructure. Let's see. For the red team, I'll give them. Let's see, this is the enemy spawn point. I'm going to switch the red team, notice this. So when I get some coal here for them and conveyors. I can put it down into a crawler factory to give myself a bit of a challenge. 
and add some solar panels. That, there, that's a building I'll be able to attack later on because I'll have to try and stop the crawlers. And to make it difficult, add some anti air turrets. They use lead to shoot down any flying units and also some copper to support some geos like so just to add something a bit interesting you can also add some walls i'm not going to do too much now just to make it to look more like a bit of a base see if i go back to my team i'll notice that all this stuff's tagged as red that's very important so when i actually play this map i'll be able to attack it so hopefully you'll be able to do the same um let's see i'll quit so i'm back in the editor and i'm happy enough with this i'm not going into a whole pile of detail at the minute but this is a great way to get started next thing map info you can add a description if you like oops i'm not going to do that uh, you can change the rules, yeah, waves, that's fine for me. I don't want infinite resources. And you can also change what blocks are allowed and which blocks aren't. All this is fine, you can change it if you wish. Oh, I'll go back in map info. Now, generation. This will mean each time you play the map you'll get random ores. I'm going to actually remove all this because I've already spawned in the ores. There we go, I'm happy with that. And back into map info again, waves. You can change all this so to increase or decrease the challenge depending on what you like. Over at the right here you, you can see under the preview section that on wave 1 there will be 1 dagger, on wave 2 1 dagger, wave 3 there will be 2 daggers. And as you go up the waves, it'll get harder and harder. However, if I click on dagger up here, I'll be able to change it for a different enemy. But I'm happy the way it is, so I'll keep it all the same. And as you can see, for waves 1 to 11, there will be one dagger. And pretty much at 0.5, so every two waves, an extra dagger will appear. And you can just add whatever troops, well enemies you want and I think that's perfect so I'm going to save my map and quit and now if I go into custom game I can find example one let's see I'll do a survival I'm happy the way it is so there we go I spawn in down here Got copper coming in let's see and there's ice here plenty of ores to find you can change it up yourself a lake, you can add numerous lakes if you wish. And a scrap pile, you're like, oh, what's been here? A bit of scrap. And here's the enemy's base. Oh. So if I try and get close to attack it, they'll try and shoot me. So, yep, that's not great. And the thing is, I want to try and take out their base because now well, there's these crawlers coming in. That are going to attack me. So you could add a red core to do an attack map so then the objective is to defeat their core to win but on this map it's just a survival so you have to stay alive as long as you can. So I hope you find this tutorial valuable and please comment below what you would like to see next as it would give me some great ideas to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye.